Yeah, hi Vass again. Just um, want to go through the X7 pitch link setup that seems to have a few people worried or some people are having issues with binding. Um, just want to give you my theories, theories on why it happens and how to set it up so it doesn't happen at all. Alright, so what a lot of people have been doing, they've been running the bottom link close right up, the, the arm with the larger chamfer facing up and they've been using the top link to get their adjustment and their spacing so there's you know there's about oh a mil just over a mil gap in there to get zero but what I see happening is that that link at the angle of the swash and the angle of the grips from full neg will try to drive slightly outwards and that arm obviously wants to stop it so what you end up getting, if I can get around here, I'll turn that to the camera. So we're on full neg and that arm happened to fall up. We go up and that arm falls in that gap there and ends up locking up. And uh, there's a lot of force on that. So if you hold it, she ain't going to go anywhere. Once you back off, away it goes again. On the bottom, because it's closed up, it just rides straight over it, not a care in the world. But at the top, that's fine there. But if we happen to fall on the right angle, we lock in. Uh, now again, purely because of the angle of the swash and the way the grips rotate, that um, see it's gone in and it tries to walk out on that angle a little bit, so therefore forces the link up against the corner of that arm, and we end up with our, as someone put it, screen door stopper. And there we go again. Now, what I normally do on my way like I said nothing's right nothing's wrong but everyone's different is I have my top link closed up my larger chamfer is facing down and I use the bottom to open it up so um, swash up to seven and a half millimeters I think like I said I think mine's at 17.8 uh, I couldn't be bothered turning it back again after but it's got about oh good fingernail so probably about a millimeter in there top's actually not totally butted up because I've used it to probably get a turn on it so there's a tiny little gap in there I can just get my fingernail in there now what happens now is because the top's closed up that's all the way down so that's that way we'll go right up now the bottom one grab because of the angle of it the actual link tries to go in not out and if we put the top down you can actually see it just bounces straight over and that's it no spacing no washers no anything um, it works and it's been working like this for a good number of flights for me and a lot of people that have been setting them up around me have been doing the same thing um, and it physically because there is nothing there it can't get in there it rides over the top of the link rides over the arm straight down the gaps at the bottom let's push this swash right up so we can get in there I'm forcing that down in there and there's nothing for it to fall into so um, there you go people um, that's my way it works for me um, hopefully the reasons why are understandable it's all got to do with the way that that swash and that arm make that link travel in relation to that Thank you very much and enjoy a terrific quality helicopter and see you soon.